Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Stream of Home Wars. Today we are heading up and right back down to Lua, expanding our colony on it. So, now, already, you see two launches. Actually, there were three, but the third one didn't record... I didn't record it because I'm a fucking moron. But yeah, you see two launches of Falcon Heavy, actually, because apparently this one gives me a the ability to build the uh, Falcon Heavies and stuff like that. Which I shouldn't have that much power because I am getting fucking in love with how everything looks and I want to install more and more mods just because they look fucking amazing. But my PC just cannot handle all of that. So yeah. So two Falcon Heavy launches were shutting off uh, ourselves up to space, up to empty space to fill it up I guess so yeah I'm gonna say everything synced up perfectly which was not at all the plan like literally I just usually how I do these videos is like I sit on my fucking chair I open up Kerbal's I'm like okay let's play for about a fucking 18 hours straight I do something cool with it plan everything building the rocket takes most of the time and everything is good to go now go and edit it that's how it usually works and this was exactly the same way and even though i didn't uh plan anything like the timing everything just synced up perfectly and i was like while well, i'm editing i see this i'm like what the fuck i'm a fucking magician so yeah we're landing two of the boosters because why not because falcon heavy and yeah so the mission on the left is the first mission and the mission on the right is the second mission the first one didn't actually land that good and the second one was like it, it just landed perfectly i was like damn what it didn't even tip over so i was like shit's nice let's go so we're going with this center booster uh where this I don't remember now. <laughs> I think the... L okay, yeah. The right one, uh, the second mission actually, I don't... Uh, and the third. I don't decouple... I don't uh, recover the center booster because it takes... The, se the, in the second stage has an insanely efficient engine. But it has really low thrust rate ratio, which is not good. But on the first mission, I try to recover the booster, even though shit goes through the fucking window. There's a door there. There's another window there. You can actually see that there's a window here. You can't see the window, but can, you can see where... Okay, <laughs> you can see where the... Light, there we go. The highlight is on my face. Uh, I don't know why I'm explaining all of this, but whatever. I'm explaining everything because I'm I don't, I'm afraid to run uh, out of things to talk about. So yeah. And the centerpiece was not having it at all. The landing legs were just bouncing all over the place, which is not perfect, just as you know. But yeah. So spoiler alert from now on. Yeah. Spoiler alert from now on. This launch. Uh, the second mission, the mission on the right, actually didn't record the half away. It recorded the first half, it didn't record the second half. And I was like, okay, okay. You just have to take the, my word for it, that everything was successful. And also I have a picture in the end, in the end of it, in the, in the, <coughs> Jesus, in the end of the video, video, to show you that everything worked perfectly. So the second mission were, had like some cosmetic changes, changes because <laughs> as you're gonna see, the first mission was not having it at all and having insane trust rate ratio and draining fuel like an absolute beast. So yeah, that was not perfect, and I replaced it with different engines and more fuel, which was not good for the second stage and it was even more pain so that's why i needed that extra boost from the center stage center stage uh, of falcon heavy 
Dragon Knight, whatever the fuck it's called. So yeah, technical terms aside, we're approaching our land on our first mission. This is gonna be a habitat. Apparently this is the, the payload is uh a space center part? I don't know actually what the fuck is it, it is, but it does hold a lot of fucking carbos and that's what I'm gonna fucking see. So it's gonna be a comp it's gonna be a habitat. And that's all about it. I have three habitats now. Which are f I guess mo most of them are full of kerbals, and there go the cut from the second mission. But yeah. We're approaching our I wanted to land as precise as possible, which was not easy to do, especially especially when you have a ginormous amount of trust rate ratio. And even single tap of shift, uh, 0.005% of thrust, uh, let, uh, let for this entire thing to just go sideways, adding a lot of horizontal velocity. Not perfect. That's not fine. And at the end, I landed. Uh, not this one, but uh, I landed like a normal person. Spoiler alert again. But tipped over. So again, we're gonna go old-fashioned, we're gonna go terror colony fashion, and we're gonna use all my demon uh, vessel mover to land wherever I need to. So yeah, you see it now on screen, and yeah, pretty much good looking. Uh, it's just my opinion, I guess, but this habitat looks cool. It it is. Pretty good looking, not gonna lie. Lights and stuff, it's just cool. I there we go, that's what I'm that was that's what I was afraid of, of. I ran out of things to talk about. That's a bullshit, so yeah. Touchdown and we have our first mission completely successfully on the moon, on Lua. And here is the picture of where I have three habitats and two of them, actually number uh, two and three, are docked together with these airlocks. So yeah, well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please love that. Please subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope next week. Until then, have an awesome week.